Whoa, halfway there. Wow. Living here for a year. Are you done? Almost. You missed up my intro. Uh, no, I actually, I helped your intro. No, we're starting over again. <laughs> Just cut it right here. No. Hey everybody, welcome to you Forest can't even, Life. You can't, even, you can't even remember the it's name because of the goddamn you're, show. It's be- you are dumb. It's because you're, <laughs> it's because you're looking at me. <laughs> and I'm Brian Belcher. Welcome to Forest I'm Life. Saturn, and welcome to Forest Life. You messed everything up. Okay, <laughs> cut it right here. Okay. Hey, everybody! It's Brittany Saturn, and I'm Brian Belcher, and, and welcome, welcome to Forest, Forest Life. Life. It's been Better. a week. It's been Better. a week since we've done this. I don't even remember. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't even remember. I don't even remember who these people so, are. Who's uh, Fuchsia? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna break the fourth wall a little bit here. We uh, recorded a way ahead because break we had, the fourth wall. I don't know if that's the right term. We're going to be because we had. We a, like, know that we're in an, a YouTube show. We know that we don't actually live with these animals. We uh, had to watch <laughs> uh, Brittany's uh, parents' house for a few days, and we were going to be away from the ability to record so it's been plus we had Cinco de Mario and Cinco de Mario happened so we had to uh really prepare ahead yeah, of time so we, we had haven't battle. recorded in like a week and it's, I forgot how to play Animal Crossing now yeah it's funny how fast things just slip from your mind well when you wh- don't use them while that happened Brittany while all that happened we actually hit over six months are you We're, serious? Yes. Oh my god. We are on the second half of Forest Life now. Wow, it's all downhill from here. Pretty much. So we uh, time to just set the town on fire. <laughs> I'm sure that's what we'll do around the end of it. This does not need to be here. We'll just turn off the beautiful uh, town. Yeah. Yeah. Just let all the weeds grow. Yeah, we'll just do like a profit town. Yeah, we go. And just make everything be like everything. really expensive, and we'll earn just a ton of money. And we just don't care about the animal's well-being. Hey, Frigo, what's up? I haven't seen you in forever. Icy feet. Icy feet. It's been pleasant today, hasn't it? I don't know. We haven't been I haven't here. I've been here. <laughs> I've been. I I mowed the lawn today. Hide and seek. Should we play hide and seek? Yeah, let's play hide and seek. I I kind of want to look around the town to see what I've missed. Well, you'll I see mean, a lot of the town nothing, while but... you find these animals. Okay, we got to find Bangle, Frigga, and Stitches. Yep. Cool. So while you're doing that, Ten minutes. you know what? I'm going to go ahead and jump into National Days. Ten minutes. National Days, Brittany. Oh yeah, what kind of National Days we got today? Well, I can tell you one thing. It's Some definitely not an exception today. Oh my god, stop saying that. I'm I like s- try to like move the conversation away, and you're just like. I refuse. <laughs> I refuse to not say my byline. God, you're like a robot. All right, Brittany. Today is National Dogs Moms Day. What does that even mean? That means. For er- instead of celebrating the mother Mother's of my Days, dog, no, like you, you have a dog and you're you're a dog mom. Gross. So I hate when people say that. It's the Saturday. It's the second Saturday in May. <laughs> I want to make a big old thick line right here in the sand. I hate when people say that. All right. That they're like a dog mom. We do call our cats <laughs> kids sometimes. I don't. Though. You like do. we joke about it. <laughs> hey, look at there. Hey, there's Bengal. All right. Well. Here's here's one that's at least fun to say. Brittany. Get fucking good, Bengal. <laughs> oh, you don't have nothing else to add about Dog's Mom's Day? Nope. Oh, so you just wanted to talk about it, but you didn't have anything to say about it? So what the hell is there to fucking say about it? I don't know. You're the one who picked it out. You obviously thought it was something important to talk about. <laughs> I thought it was funny. <laughs> I'm going to call you out on your <laughs> national days. Because you always have like a million national days. Yeah, I and I, f- know, like, I, f- oh. I, fig- I figured I would like cut some of the chatter throw by not a, putting some like still a, saying the day, but throw not a bone like to the mom. Hey, I forgot hey, we, we got forgot that. we got this new bear, Yo, Groucho. Yo, Brittany didn't see much yet today. Wait, where are you snoozing? Grumble. Great. When he's illiterate, <laughs> 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 he can't talk. And if you ever like read somebody's writing and it makes you feel like you can't read because yeah, yeah, they are writing so terribly. Mm-hmm. That's like what this bear is. <laughs> well, Brittany, that bear might enjoy this next one because today is National Nutty Fudge Day. <laughs> okay, Nutty Fudge maybe Day. He, maybe he will enjoy it. I like to saying the word Nutty Fudge. Nutty Fudge. Nutty Fudge. Nutty Fudge. It's it's it, like it's one of those words like you can say it too much and it doesn't sound like words anymore. 
are these trees? Oh, I put no planted trees. Yeah. Sorry, I'm all confused. Yes, yeah, nutty fudge. Nutty fudge. That hey. sounds like a good type of like fudge. <laughs> a nutty guy. <laughs> you can tell, Brittany. My favorite thing is I can really tell we haven't done this for a few days. What are you talking about? Because you are just. I'm a professional. You're so off on your game right now. I'm not. It's amazing. I'm good. You're 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 being sidetracked from like playing the game and talking to me at the same time, and you just kind of like. Drop that skill mm -hmm. completely. Okay. We've been doing this for five fucking. Hey! Oh, hello. That's not a terrible place to move to, I guess. Paula. Paula. Oh my oh, god. Oh, that's not good. Oh Jesus, that's that bear that has like blue eye shadow. <laughs> we gotta get rid of Paula. She's terrible. I had her in one of my towns, and it was just god awful. All right. Well, let's just. Who am I looking for? Are you looking for stitches? stitches? Did get, you say bitches. Snitches? get bitches. Get bitches. <laughs> All right, well, this next one, Brittany, uh, you, you let me know what you think of this after I get done describing it. Today is National Archery Day. One of the oldest sports still in existence, archery has been around since before 2800 BC. Bows have been used for hunting and battle. Archery was introduced into the modern Olympic Games in 1900, but only appeared again in 1904, 1908, and 1920. Then once again, after a long absence, it returned in 1972. Okay. I'm not telling you about I, it. Well, I want your opinion about about archery. Uh, cool. I don't have an opinion about archery. You do too. No, I don't. I ab I'm absolutely certain you have an opinion on archery. What is your opinion on archery? The pointy end goes in the person. That's not an opinion, it's is a, it? Not really. No, I don't have an opinion on archery. <laughs> well, you definitely have an opinion on this next one, because <laughs> today is also National Mini Golf Day. Oh, shit. What are we doing playing Animal Crossing? Why are we not out playing mini, playing golf? mini golf? Well, I will tell you that there isn't any need to call four, since only putters are used in this version. The distances are too short, usually about 10 yards, and to use any other golf club. So the courses are made mostly of concrete and artificial turf, so there are no divots to replace either. Oh man, I love mini golf. Brittany kicked my ass at mini golf really early in our Super relationship, awesome. and I don't think I've ever beaten you in a game. I've gotten close like once. Uh, the only time that you beat me in a game is that time we went to the beach and oh, you were blind. I lost my glasses in the ocean. Yeah, and then you were like, "Let's play mini golf," and I was like, "Sure," and you beat me that time barely though. You beat me by like two strokes. Yep. Strokes. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, so be proud of yourself. She fucked up, she fucked up our your mushroom fairy ring. Fairy, yeah. What a fucking asshole. That She's gotta go. <laughs> Alright, well, our last... She's gotta go. I'm not even gonna greet her. No, don't. Uh, we we got don't know one, what she looks like. We got one last National Day, Brittany. Okay. Today is National Limerick Day. Limerick? Yep. Sing me a limerick. I will. Uh, this day <laughs> celebrates the birthday of the English artist, illustrator, and author, poet, Edward Lear. Born in May 12th through 18, in 1812 and lived till January 29th, 1888. Lear is known mostly for his literary nonsense in poetry, prose, and limericks, such as this great uh, limerick uh, called There Was a Young Lady. There was a young lady whose chin res resembled the point of a pin. So she had it made sharp and purchased a harp and played several tunes with her chin. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so. So I had this book of, um, well, I thought of it as a book of poetry as a kid, but it was really just a book of limericks. Mm. Uh, and it was called Whiskers and Rhymes. Oh, yeah. Okay. And it was all about cats. Yeah. <laughs> but it was, it was really awesome. Well, it wasn't okay. So it wasn't expressly about cats. Like the poems were about like just people, but the artist like drew pictures of cats like as people. So you still have Cat that, right? People. That book? Yeah. Um, I feel like you've shown I it think to me. So I think I still have it, and it's like falling apart. Yeah, it's, yeah. Like so fucked up. I read it so many times. I probably should just buy a new copy of it. Yeah. Yeah, and then I was super happy. Like one time as a kid, I was re watching that movie "You've Got Mail" with mm -hmm. Meg Ryan and Tom Hanks. Yeah, and if you guys don't know the plot of that movie, it's a love story about two 
uh, people who own bookstores. But one bookstore is like a mom mom and pop store, and the other one's like a gigantic like Barnes and Noble, basically. Yeah. And as Meg Ryan is like rearranging her displays in the in the store, she puts out like Whiskers and Rhymes, and I was like, wow! <laughs> I like lost my mind. Chica. I like it. I love it. Uh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're a shitty mayor. I'm not a shitty mayor. <laughs> I'm going to take a shit on this one's doorstep. Though. I don't blame you there. So, so like, I was like, yeah, not too bad. She should have came up, like, a little bit. Well, I guess she couldn't because of this. Yeah, I'm messing up my mushroom ring. I wouldn't mind if it was, like, a cute animal. Yeah. But she's a fucking train wreck. You guys will see. You'll see tomorrow. See tomorrow. She's a fucking terrible. Well... Seeing how we already talked about uh, Edward. should have just moved up there where Rocket used to be. What the hell? Sorry. Yeah, geez, I'm like trying to talk over here and you're just like interrupting me. That's what we do on this show. Don't Brittany. you know? Don't you know? Brittany. Don't you know? Brittany. Don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of Edward Lear's birthday, let's go ahead and celebrate birthdays. Yay, birthdays. <laughs> <laughs> sound happy at all did it no you were so condescending sounding. i'm sorry i'm just really mad about paula <laughs> <laughs> well guys if uh it's your birthday today thank you so much for tuning in happy birthday we really love it anytime you guys watch us every single day but especially on your birthday uh you share your birthday with a couple of really cool people we got first and foremost tony hawk Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk turns 50 years old today. Uh Uh-huh. Which makes me feel super old. He's an old man. Born in 1968, the individual sports icon who became a star for redefining vertical skateboarding and founding Birdhouse and launching a successful video game series, he was nicknamed the Birdman for his aerial stunts and gained fame for becoming the first skater to successfully land a 900-degree spin out of a half-pipe. So that was pretty cool. Wow, awesome! I uh, I got re- I was I was in the prime uh, age to be into Tony Hawk. Were you a skateboarder? I tried to be. Mm. <laughs> the, w- was I? No. Mm. You know that one shitty character in Stardew Valley that's trying to do a kickflip, Sam? Sam? Yeah. Yeah. I was him. <laughs> I was trying. Sam to was get... doing kickflips, so. though. Yeah, I I, I I don't know. If I, he was. I, it just said he's trying to do a kickflip. Yeah, and yeah. Trying to talk to him. I could do an ollie yes, sometimes. Please. What's an ollie? It's when you jump and the board stays with you. Oh. How, it's like I the most basic fucking that, jump. I can't even stand up, let alone stand on a skateboard, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can't stand up just in normal life, so. Uh, sp- speaking of not being able to stand on a uh, skateboard, you should actually... Uh, follow us on Patreon because there is a Patreon exclusive episode of Tequila Stories where Brittany plays Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4 for the first time. Yeah, I forgot about that. And it's not pretty. I did the best I could, okay? You did good for the first time. <laughs> you just definitely needed uh, some more time on that. <laughs> No, I pretty much felt like I mastered that game. You mastered no need. it. I mean, I guess you're done then. I guess you don't have to play that anymore. Do you have Mr. KK already? No idea. I feel like we have that. That sounds like something that you would hear at a formal get-together. I don't know. I've never been to a formal get-together. That sounds like some like in- old like English party. Old English party. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. For all of you old English partiers out exactly. there. Exactly. Yeah, oh, yeah, we got yeah, it. We have it. Let's see what's upstairs, because everything's like half off right now. Well, Brittany, while you're doing that, let's go ahead and celebrate the other birthday we've got today. It's George Carlin. George Carlin. Born in 1937, he is considered by many to be the greatest stand-up comedian of all time. The greatest. He put out 14... Stand-up comedy specials for HBO in his career, and was the host of the first host of Saturday Night Live in 1975. He was posthumously awarded the Mark Twain Prize for American Humor in 2008, and he died at age 71 the same year. Dang. Yep. He was like, "Got my award. I'm out." Well, he got it. He he was out, and then he got the award. Oh. That's what posthumously That's means? Even shittier. Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. Guess you learn something every day, then. 
I shall learn <laughs> something every day. And then, of course, if you have Ellie the elephant in your town, she likes basic and pink things, but nothing ornate. Don't get her anything ornate, or she will remember forever and send you rude letters. Okay. Hey, look who's here. Yep, it's that thing. Ricky. Yeah, it's Ricky. We had him in <laughs> town for like two times. I forgot what his name was. He's long forgotten. He was one of the forgotten. One of the forgottens. Dun, dun, dun. One of the forgottens. All right, well, I'm going to go drop off some stuff at the museum. Okay. We're going to do and another song? We'll do a song because we didn't get to do it last Saturday. No. For, well, was there a reason why we didn't do one last Saturday? Did we just forget? No, we just didn't care. <laughs> no, you didn't care. I forgot. Oh, I don't know. We were just like moving along. We were just moving along doing stuff. Well, we were trying to record as many as possible. I don't know, Brian. Why don't you go back and watch the episodes? I will, because you're a jackass. <laughs> jackass. Oh, I'm not a jackass. You're not the one. <laughs> what is your problem? I'm just going to r- shove my face into your face. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, Brian was making a big old deal about not going to see KK, but I try to tell him that we're too old to be going to the club. Can't go to the club anymore. we've been around all these animals we've aged. Uh, I'm, uh, <laughs> just like the animals. Oh one boy. year here is seven years in animal time, so... <laughs> What did we decide? We came in at 28 and we're leaving at 35. I mean... For me. For you. God, I'm, for I'm, you. It's yeah. like, what, 40? I'm 40 now. Jesus, yeah. Yeah, I came in at 33. Too old to be going to club LOL. I guess club so. Club LOL. Club <laughs> LOL. LOL, LOL, LOL. You know why it's called Club LOL? Why? Because he's a comedian. I thought it was Club 101 because it's a digital game. 101? Yeah. Why would it be called 101? Because it's binary. It's LOL. I know. I'm just. What does 101 mean in binary? I don't know. I think you need four things to be anything, anyways. Oh, shit. You don't know what you're talking about. Nope. Yes, please. Thanks for the love. Um, let's see. Here's my mood. Let's give him a mood. Let's give him a mood. Uh, let's see. I, f- I don't ever pick grumpy. Well, you you let's definitely sound grum- like you're feeling grumpy Yeah, anyways. I feel a little grumpy. Paula and all that or yeah, whatever. Yeah, Paula fucking up my fairy ring uh-huh. and she's a piece of shit. Uh-huh, piece of she shit. She looks terrible. So she replaced the mushroom with herself, which was a piece yes. of shit. Yes, no, wait till you see her. She oh, has I like know blonde what she looks hair like. that's like parted and she has like she blue looks, eyeshadow. She looks like a shitty Stepford wife, yeah. Yeah, no, she looks like she looks like that lady off of There's Something About Mary. I'm going back really far now. All right. Remember her, Cameron Diaz's um, roommate, the nope. old lady Magda, who's nope. like really, really tan, but had like blonde hair? I trust you. Okay, well, that's what she looks like. <laughs> All right. Put a picture well, of her up right now. <laughs> So everyone can see what she is. Well, guys, like her. thank you so much for tuning in. <laughs> we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye, guys. Hopefully Hope tomorrow guys... is a better day. We can start being shitty to Paula. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys.
Oh, <laughs> 